Hi, I'm Scott Wolf, and this postcard is from a Disneyland publicity tour to promote the theatrical re-release of the animated classic Dumbo. Going back to Walt's days, Disney has done publicity tours to promote their latest TV shows, movies, and theme park offerings. But I want to talk specifically about the tours in the 1970s and 80s to promote the re-releases of Disney's movies. Now, before DVDs or streaming or even videotapes, there weren't a lot of ways to watch the Disney movies. Occasionally they would be shown on TV and they would be edited down, but if you were lucky enough you could see them in color if you happen to have a color TV set. But the best way to see them was when they were re-released in the theaters. Now, they would re-release the movies every few years, and to get the word out, they sent people out on publicity tours. Now, my, my dear friend Connie sent me this photo. She was the ambassador in 1966, Connie Swanson. During that time, she traveled to Peru, Brazil, Uruguay, Colombia, and Argentina to promote the international releases of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. This photo is when she was visiting Argentina. Now this photo was sent to me by my friend Marcia, who was the 1967 Disneyland ambassador, Marcia Minor. Here's Marcia getting ready to go on a national 21 city tour across the country in 20 days. The Seven Dwarfs and Marcia are all packed and ready to promote the Snow White's 30th anniversary re-release in 1967. Now in the 1970s and 80s, the tours included scripted shows featuring the Disney characters and usually hosted by Fulton Burley. I want to share with you some of Fulton's photos from some of these tours. This one is from the re-release of Lady and the Tramp. Now that's Fulton at the right with the microphone. He was a consummate entertainer whose career went back on stage and film long before he came to Disney. For decades he starred in Disneyland's historic Golden Horseshoe Review in Frontierland. And you can hear him as Michael in the Enchanted Tiki Room attraction. So it is, and what darling people I have sitting under me. Because of his ability to entertain both young and old, and because he could easily ad-lib, Fulton was tapped on for countless Disney special events, from the grand openings of Disneyland attractions, to movie premieres, to these re-release tours. Here's a shot of Fulton promoting The Jungle Book, and they're in front of the Tiki Room. This is when The Jungle Book was re-released in 1978. The troupe would always fly on Walt Disney's plane, traveling across the country, making stops at new cities every day. At each city, they might make appearances on the radio, on television shows like news programs and children's shows, and they often did shows at shopping malls. My friend Don Payne sent me this great photo from the Dumbo tour that he did with Fulton. This was 1972. It's a rare look at one of the mall shows. You can see the back of Fulton dressed as a ringmaster. I want to thank Don for this photo, and I also want to thank Jim Adams. They were both a couple of top-notch Disneyland entertainers who often went on tour with Fulton, and they shared a lot of their stories and their materials with me, for which I'm very grateful. Now, speaking of the Dumbo tour, these postcards were given out during that tour. There's Fulton and the cast of characters. I love how they all signed it at the bottom. The mall tours were hugely popular. People would see an ad such as this one, I love this. This is from the Cinderella re-release in 1973. This show was in Braintree, Massachusetts. Families would flock to the malls and the kids loved it. Jim Adams once told me they had to really scream their lines because the kids were cheering like they were superstars. Now these are some of Fulton's things from the Pinocchio tour in 1978. This is the script from the mall show. Now the characters didn't speak, so all of the dialogue is between Fulton and the puppet character of Jiminy Cricket, which was performed by Don Payne. And here's a photo from one of the children's television shows that they appeared on during the Pinocchio tour. That's Joe Diamond over there at the right. He would play the accordion. He'd play the music on shows such as this one. And you know, the mall shows had no pre-recorded soundtrack. So it was often just Joe and his accordion who provided all the music. You know, one part of the tours that were not promoted were the visits to hospitals. This is a publication from one of the hospitals that they visited during the Pinocchio tour. These are great photos. 
While Joe Diamond, dressed as Geppetto, played the accordion, the characters danced with the patients. You know, a hospital can be such a scary place, so can you imagine the delight at being entertained by people from Disneyland and being asked to dance by the Disney characters? That must have been so cool. And you know, they entertained terminally ill children a lot. And then they would go and personally visit the kids who were too sick to get out of bed. I talked to a lot of people who were on some of these hospital visits, and I heard the same kind of story several times. You know, some of the children, for whatever reason, had not spoken for months or years. One of them was in a terrible car accident, and another one was in a horrible house fire with his family. And then when they saw the Disney characters, they spoke. And there was one boy, he was 10 years old, and he had mental challenges and had never spoken in his life. And when he saw Mickey Mouse, he spoke his first word, Mickey. And often the people from Disney, they didn't know why the nurses around them were crying. It's just the magic of Disney. I have one more thing I want to share with you. These are some video clips from some appearances on children's television shows. Um, Joe Diamond, the great accordionist, gave me these video clips from the 1979 101 Dalmatians tour so that we could get a super rare glimpse at some of the TV spots from the 101 Dalmatians. See what I did? TV spots, Dalmatians. Anyways, I hope you enjoy and thanks for joining me. We have a special guest and friends this morning at Peppermint Place, Mr. Fulton Burley, the spokesman for Disneyland, the head man on tours when Disneyland and, and Walt Disney Productions release new films. Fulton Burley, is, you've probably seen him if you've been to Disneyland. You are the most familiar face, I guess, in California, Fulton. Oh, I love talking with intelligent people, but I've been with you here how many times? About ten times. About ten times. See if they remember me. Like this, Mr. Peppermint. Is that good? That's yeah. good. How are things at the Golden Horseshoe? Couldn't be better. <laughs> I don't trust her. Ooh, darling. Oh, darling. Oh, hello, darling. Look at how slinky. <laughs> look at how slinky. Oh, darling, you look great since the accident. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where are those puppies? Those puppies I love so much. Where are they? <laughs> right. Never mind the puppies. Oh, darling, I, I'm so glad we've all arrived here. You know, I am the star of the movie. Yes, that's why star spelled backwards is rats. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. Ow! Let's see. Let's see if Pongo is here. Pongo! Po there. Hey, Pongo. Now, nice that's... to see you. How are you, Pongo? Just fine. How are Did you? you say hello Just to fine. all of uh, Mr. Pepperman's friends? Hello, everyone. How are you? So we're still here on the Texas deck with uh, Fulton Burley and a lot of nice young people from Walt Disney and One Villainous. Oh, oh. Ruella DeVille, darling, do introduce me to all these lovely people. Well, those are our crew members. But I want to... I'm fascinated by our leading Dalmatian here. Longo, the Ongo. father of the, all the Dalmatians. Yeah. Of course, the puppies that were uh, dog at. If you forget anything that I have told you, any of you people, I brought you a present. That's oh, 101 nice. Dalmatians, the record, and this is the storybook album. Well, isn't that The great? whole story's inside. The world was such a wholesome place until Cruella, Cruella de Vil. I said Cruella, Cruella, Cruella de Vil. I mean Cruella, Cruella, Cruella de Vil. Oh. <laughs> 